Welcome back to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike, this is my t-shirt printers. Let's create something. If you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when a fresh episode has landed. And give this video a thumbs up if you want more of these episodes. And that brings me to today where I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel. From the awesome people who have donated to the channel, Josie, Stephanie, Mark, Nicole, Thank you. And to all the others for your kind comments, Daniel Pasito, Super T Prince, Liberty Graphic Design, Still Art, John Rainsford, Daniel Milling, Richie Rich. I could literally be here all day thanking everybody for supporting the channel. The list just goes on and on and I thank you all. All the new subscribers, all the likes I've gotten, all the comments I'm getting. Thank you very, very much. So what we're we doing today? Well, we're diving back into Affinity Designer, taking those half tones we created in the last episode and putting them to work in some text to make some cool text effects in Affinity Designer. Deep breath. <gasps> Let's get going. Let's jump in here and create a new page. So up to Affinity Designer, across to File, drop down to New. And this time we're gonna go for an A4 page because we learned our lesson in the last one. I'm gonna make this one horizontal as well by clicking this little button over here. And I'm gonna click Create. Now we've got our page open. Now what I'm gonna do is take those half tones that we created in a previous episode and just paste them in here. So I'm just gonna go Command V and put in our half tones. So these are our half tone dots that we've already created. Now I'm gonna head over here to my layers palette. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm gonna work on a black background. So over here where it says add layer, I'm gonna click on that one. It says layer up here. I'm gonna label this as background. Okay, and I'm just going to go over here and push M on my artboard, or you can just select your rectangle tool, which is this one over here. And I'm just gonna drag a very big block right over this entire area. So it covers our entire artboard. And I'm gonna head over to my swatches and just click on this little black icon here to make sure we've got a nice black fill. Okay, I'm gonna close down this background now and move it underneath my half tones right over here. And I wanna make sure this layer is locked. So I'm gonna click this little padlock right here and make sure it's nice and locked. Now back to our half tones layer. And so we can actually see it, I'm just gonna make it white. So I've got white in my recents up here. I'm just gonna click that and make it nice and white. Now let's get some text in here. So I'm gonna hit T to get my text tool up or you can just head over here and, and select this little tool over here which is your artistic text tool and I'm gonna click on our page over here now I'm gonna start typing so keep on and just so that we can actually see what we're doing I'm just gonna select this as a white just double select our text I'm gonna click a click triple triple click and select white so we can actually see what we actually typing gonna make that a little bit bigger now font wise I am going to use a font what am I gonna use this time uh, I think this whiskey one will be cool to use uh, let's use that one okay so I'm gonna use that one there I'm just gonna click and drag this with my move tool selected hold alt click and drag that down while holding shift and just type in some more text over here creating I'm gonna make that a capital G okay cool and then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set this up how I want it so I'm gonna put it pop it there and I'll size that down and just pop it right there in the middle over there okay cool right so we've got our basic setup over here with our text and now what we're gonna do is get this half tone effect into here and make a whole bunch of other cool things to make it look really cool so the first thing I always like to do is convert my text to lines or curves or paths or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to select both of them with my move tool. So I'm just going to push V and get my move tool up, which is this tool over here. Okay, and I'm going to select both of those holding shift and selecting the other one. Now I'm going to head on up here to where it says layer and you want to select this option over here, which is command enter. So select that and basically it changes your text to graphics now. So it changes them to curves. Now what I'm going to do is head over here to my layers palette. I'm just going to expand both of these out. I'm going to select in this first group over here, which is the creating part, which is this section over here. I'm going to select from the G all the way down to the C. Okay, and I'm going to go up here to this little add function over here. I'm going to click on that and that makes one item there. So one graphic. I'm going to do the same with this section over here, this keep on, and I'm going to select from the N all the way down to the K. And I'm going to head back up to this add function over here and click on that. Now that that's sorted, what I want to do is just click on this creating part. I'm going to drag that out of this group, likewise for this keep on section. And I'm actually going to put that above the creating part so that it just reads right. So let's keep on. That's my keep on layer. And this is my creating layer. Okay, so I've got those two. Just take those two groups there. I'm selecting both of them with shift. And I want to hit this little trash icon here to get rid of them. Now what I want to do is 
take our two layers that we've got here in our layers palette. I'm just gonna hold shift and select both of them. Now I'm gonna click them and drag them down to this little icon over here, which basically duplicates them. So I'm gonna drag them there. You can see it's given us a duplication of those two layers there. Now I'm gonna select these two layers, the second layer. So this is gonna be just, let's call it shadow one. And likewise for this one, I'm gonna label this one shadow shadow one okay so that's those two layers now with these two layers selected so i've selected this layer i've hold, held command and i'm going to select this layer i'm going to head up here to my stroke function and start giving this a little bit of a stroke what i need to do though is head to my swatches i'm just going to take off this fill color over here for the moment so take that off select my stroke color go down here to where it says grays and give myself some color. So for now, let's give this a blue color so we can actually see what we're doing and just widen out that stroke so it starts popping out from underneath there. So you can see it's starting to build on our page over there. Okay, cool. I'm also gonna give this a hard edge, it's hard mount to join over here because I don't want a round shape on it. And once I'm happy with the size that I've got over here, I'm just gonna change this back to black, okay? So I'm just changing my little stroke over here back to black. Head back up to my layers palette. Now with these two layers still selected, I'm gonna drag them down here and make another duplicate of them. So that's gonna be another duplicate of them. And let's just label this one shadow two and the second one over here shadow two okay now i'm going to hold my command button and select my second shadow so both of those shadows selected go back to my stroke and i'm now going to make this stroke color let's make it a yellow color so i'm going to make it a yellow and i'm going to go to my stroke width and just start sizing it up so you can see it's created that little bit of a break in where the black black stroke is and then our yellow stroke over there so that's kind of what we're looking for so i'm pretty happy with that at the moment so let's get a little bit snuggly and close in here with our text so far. And I'm gonna hold down spacebar and command and just zoom in so we can really get in there. Now I'm gonna take our half tone layer. So I'm just with my move tool selected, which is V. I'm just gonna click a half tone layer and just drag it up to this area over here. Let's just zoom out a little bit so I can get to the edge of one of our half tones. Now I'm gonna scale this down because this one's rather big. So I'm just holding shift while scaling that down because I wanted to obviously just get in there quite nicely. So I'm just scaling, scaling, scaling till I've sort of found the right size that I want. So I kind of want it a little bit solid at the bottom and just to fade out near the top. Okay, cool. So that's gonna be that one. Let's make this that same yellow. So under recents over here, I'm just gonna click on my fill to make sure I've got my fill selected and click this yellow over here. I'm gonna hold down Alt, click and drag this while holding Shift up to my top layer over here and let's just drop it let's just drop that about there okay so now i've got these two half tones ready to go inside now let's head over here to our layers palette i'm just going to click on layers to bring that up and i am going to select our white our first text bits over here so i'm going to select that one over here where it says creating and i'm going to scroll up a little bit and get my keep on up there i'm going to make them this very very bright green so it really punches out there and now what I'm gonna do is go to our half tones. So I'm gonna select my half tone, half tone effect over here. Now I can see that half tone effect relates to my keep on section. So all I've gotta do is take this layer and just drag it so you can see that blue line snaps underneath this keep on bit there. So I'm just take it there and drop it over there and select our other half tone layer. So I've just clicked on it with my move tool and hit it over here to my layers palette. Click and drag that underneath our creating layer. So I'm just gonna pop it over there. Again, you can see where it's positioned and that blue line is, it's not snapping out to here, it's going underneath there. So it's masking it in there. And there is that cool effect. I think I want these outlines over here to be changed to white. And it's really easy to do it because I know that's my shadow too. And I click both of those holding Alt, get my stroke tool up and just click white. Now, how cool does that look? Now, if I wanted to take this a little bit further and with this style of font that I've got here and correct these little joins over here and over here, I can go to my layers palette and select all those layers. So that's gonna be my stroke layers or my shadow layers. I'm gonna select that shadow. I'm gonna hold Alt, select that one, then select those two. I'm gonna head over here back to my stroke palette and where it says miter, let's just change that up to four and let's try five. And you can see what it's done. It's created those nice little finished little parts over there. If we do six, and you can see it's added that little bit on the end over there. So it's now finished off the entire effect and given that font the complete look and not such a solid edge. 
So how do you think that looks? I think it looks pretty cool for a text effect and affinity designer. So that brings us to the end of another episode and I just want to say thank you again. Make sure to follow us on our social channels. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, ding the bell, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here.